Good afternoon, YouTube. Another boot review here. This is the Westco. It's either the Jobmaster or the, I believe they call it the Firestormer. And it's Westco's version of the Wildland Firefighting Boot. That's what the guy said on eBay. When you go on Westco's site, there really isn't much difference between the two other than the stitching. For the Firestormer, the stitching is, uh, I believe, Kevlar and maybe Nomex. I don't know if there's a Nomex, but a fire resistant stitching. And other than taking fire to this, I don't know if I can really determine which boot this is, but it has the, the Vibram 100 lug, a good sturdy boot, uh, stitched all the way through the midsole and the outsole. And it's just a good sturdy boot. I've worn it for about two days now. It is a used boot. It was made in 2003, so it is a is that 14 years old, 14 year old boot. It's been around for a while. Uh, whoever had it before me, I just didn't wear it much. It probably was sitting, it was all polished up. And um, take a look at these uh, cutting videos that I did uh, with these boots on in my chainsaw. <laughs> There's a handful of different woods that I've been cutting up here, kind of in my backyard, my wood pile, uh, firewood and uh, wood that we use to, to mill with and do other things. Uh, this boot, I guess the closest we could compare it to would be the, the White's smoke jumper that I have. And these boots are lighter, uh, not as heavy, and that's probably because I believe they use a steel shank and not all the extra leather that White's uses. Um, the leather on the side seems a little bit thinner, um, not as heavy uh, weight. Do they use gauge? I don't know if they use gauge or ounce, ounce leather. Not as heavy as an ounce leather, and but um, it feels already broken in. The guy before me wore it and broke it in, so um, it's an 11E, and this fits me perfectly. That's kind of what I figured. I think in in whites, in Westco's, 11E is an Echo is what I'm going to be using from now on out. So these, when they made them, they uh, stained the side. And then if you look close enough, I don't know if you can see that or not, but the leather just over time shrinks up and the rubber just kind of sticks out. So there's kind of a little unevenness. So what I'm going to do next is going to take it to my belt sander. And I like the natural leather look anyway. So I'm going to grind this down and get a natural look to it. So let's go over to the belt sander.
more or less that's kind of the look you're getting back to the, the standard leather and that's what I like best and I'm gonna do it on the heel all the way around so your big concern would be the stitching you don't want to hit that stitching break that stitching the two side by side kind of the natural look there's a couple little spots I missed I still need to get to didn't get it all but I like that natural color better <laughs> so that is my little quick review and uh, how I sand down the sides just to get the natural look of my West Coast job masters or uh, firestormers depending on who you ask so hope you like those I look forward to putting some good wear on those have a wonderful afternoon. Adios.